for people who don't know who James Somerton is, James Somerton is a video essayist. He, st I don't know if stole is the right word. Plagiarize is probably the more appropriate word. A bunch of resources from a bunch of people in the queer community, I believe. And then pass them off as his own and then use that to make videos defending uh, said community. So I, th I believe that's the arc as far as I'm aware. And H Bomber guy made a video on plagiarism a while back. I want to say like six, seven months ago that pointed out how much James Somerton plagiarized, pointed out how much Illuminati plagiarized. She was a huge target of it as well. Of the, Well, the drama at the time, not just the video. The video was mostly about James Somerton. And Internet Historian also got caught up a little bit in it. James Somerton put out a tweet yesterday that says, if this message is live, or not yesterday, a few days ago on his, I believe, personal account. If this message is live, it means I scheduled it before ending things. I have video scheduled to go out over the next couple of days. Nothing new. Just wanted Nick's portfolio, who I believe is his editor of work to be available. I've left directions that any money for those videos donated to the Canadian Association for Suicide Prevention. Uh, they've tried very hard to pull me back, but there's simply no life for me anymore. I've lost everything. My only friend, my livelihood, my name, and it's all my own fault. The world will be a little bit better off now. Goodbye. Someone reached out to, and I'll put these tweets up after we're done with the Alliance. Someone reached out to uh, Somerton's ex-co-writer on, I believe, Blue Sky, who said there is nothing to be worried about right now. So essentially, the situation is, was it a fake tweet? Is, like, what's going on? Nobody knows the answer to that right now. The part I wanted to talk about that's pissing me off is I'm seeing a lot of people jumping down H Bomber Guy's throat, saying that he's responsible for this apparent decision, which is, in my mind, uh, asinine. I'm, I'm not going to like mince any words. I think it's absurd to place blame on H Bomber guy. And I've seen a lot of people attacking him. I've seen a lot of people attacking his audience. All he did was make a video that specifically pointed out pretty much every time that James Somerton plagiarized something and exactly how bad the plagiarism was and i don't think it's a good idea for people in twitter in general because it's only really on twitter to be saying oh you pointed out someone plagiarized and it it kind of was for most of their career on youtube for a lot of their bigger creations uh how dare you you made him do this it's like no H Bomber guy did not make James do this. We can all agree. It's bad. It sucks. It's terrible. If if this is the case and the tweet isn't isn't falsified at all. And I'll pull the tweet up after the raid's over. It's it's terrible. But to throw responsibility on someone who just made a video pointing out that someone plagiarized, who and we'll I'll We'll talk about this explicitly at the end of the raid. H Bomber guy specifically in his video, because I saw people attacking his audience too. He did what he should have done, which is he has a segment specifically that says, hey, if you harass James Somerton, if you go seek him out, if you seek out his content just to be a dick, I believe I'm going to paraphrase slightly, but his quote was essentially in the video. Uh, you're, you're worse than his plagiarism. In the comments section, he also claimed the thread's author had been harassing and attacking him for the last 48 hours on Twitter, and her followers had been hunting down his home and work addresses. Any harassment or threats Somerton may have received are unconscionable and wrong. I want to clarify right now that if anyone harasses Somerton on my behalf, they are worse than him and will not see the light of heaven. That's all he needs to do. Beyond that, if he finds someone has done it, just remove them from the community and that's all he can do i don't like the precedent that it sets that is hey you're making videos or content in a public space and someone finds out you have stolen something them calling you out for it is evil and a monstrous thing to do it's better to let them steal something and not feel bad or be you know put in a position where they need to essentially own up to it own up to the laziness of their content and just make better content going forward 
Like, if you're posting to a public space, criticism is going to come with the territory. But I don't think you should ever post, or not post, shove responsibility for someone's rash decisions o over onto someone who, I'm sorry, had nothing to do with it. Who would even say that? Like, James did that to himself. As far as who would even say that, Twitter has the emotional depth of of a goldfish bowl and the same level of flexibility as the water they're in because they got me thinking because i will at least and i'm not going to just stonewall against any like counter argument it got me thinking it's if somebody removes themselves from the situation if somebody like closes their channel for a little bit or if someone you know um steps away to like if they say they're stepping away if they you know to think about it or like figure out next steps or figure out what they they should do next i yes it is it is still as i said like a public space but i feel that continuing to make content on that in those comments then is disrespectful granted sure there are there are circumstances and edge cases as, as there always are that you could counter argue against me with i'm sure those exist i'm not going to attempt to come up with them in my own head because i can't right now it all comes down to the circumstances that surround the situation or the the commentary someone makes about another person's work being respectful versus being disrespectful i don't think it's fair to lump it all into drama farming there are other streamers than other content creators that probably have a different stance that is like i'm gonna milk every response i get or i'm you know i'm gonna make a thing on every little moment i can find i think there's a level of respect that should be displayed in the space between people and not everyone's gonna display that and that respect when you're making a video like h bomber guys should be and I've watched the video. I think he did this. We're going to talk about exactly why there's a problem with what this person is doing. But if you go and fuck with them, you're done. You're out of the community. You're gone. Their responsibility for controlling what their audience does stops at that ultimatum and following through on that ultimatum. And not everybody follows through. Uh, there's a lot of creators probably don't follow through. They think they can just say, hey, you're going to get yeeted from the community if you do X or I see you behaving this way. And they don't follow through. They just do it because it it's it, in the eyes of the public. It looks really nice. And then they get to be lazy. Like We've booted people that I, I, I have seen behavior in other communities adjacent to mine that I don't want in mind and I've I've yeeted those people and that's where my responsibility stops. I don't give a shit what they do past that. I don't have time to care what they do past that. I have other things to do. I have my own life and responsibilities to deal with. My responsibility as a as a streamer and a community runner and a content creator on YouTube and whatnot stops there. I, don't know, I guess the short of it is I don't understand why people think that they're control of their community extends past the community's boundaries for individual members. It's kind of like if a job saw that you were drinking on your vacation and they don't allow alcohol on the premises, right? But they saw you drinking on vacation and then got mad at you and fired you because you were drinking alcohol, period. Like, I don't give a shit what happens outside of the rules I have in my community Like once people are out of here. Barring, as I said earlier, extenuating circumstances where it is oh you're just not gonna jive here you're, you're just you're just not gonna fit in here i can't trust you to be uh, a positive influence in this space i guess basically what i'm saying is like if you're doing things that hurt other people easily without thinking about it outside of this like this space like being a bigot or being racist unironically you're just gone you're just gone. I'm not even going to give you a reason, probably. I mean, we'll have a reason internally that we'll keep track of in the Discord. But on your end, you're just going to try to come back one day and you're just not going to be... It'll be like, sorry, you have no access to this. 
Anyway, uh, for posterity's sake, here is the James Somerton uh, tweet itself. Here's the full one itself. And also for posterity's sake, the segment of the H-Bomber guy video. Because I saw a lot of people claiming that I don't know, H-Bomber guy didn't do enough. Like, what can he do? What can he do beyond saying, hey, don't harass this person. And if you do, I'm I'm going to take, you will not see the light of heaven as you're going to be nuked from the community. How many people stopped watching before the morning? I mean, it's a three hour and 50 minute video. What I will say is, if we're going to be genuine about how many people stopped watching before the warning, he doesn't talk about James Somerton until one hour, 43 minutes, wait, one hour, 48 minutes. And then this warning, this little like disclaimer is at two hours and three minutes. So it's like 20 minutes in. If they stopped watching, I don't know. That's on them. They missed a lot of the video about James Somerton. I, I, I feel like the easy response that someone would have is, well, he should have put it at the start. I don't think a person that's as un that is unstable enough to go death threat someone or go harass somebody, is they're not going to listen to the warning in the first place. So the argument of he should put it at the start, I think is a moot point. Because who has it in their brain that's like, oh, I'm going to go, oh, oh I, gotta, I got points to attack. I'm going to go fuck with this person. I'm going to make their life a living hell. Does anybody really think that person's going to listen to like, Hey, you shouldn't do that. That's mean. Fuck no. They're not going to listen to a little disclaimer at the start. Of course not. It's like thinking that ever, like a door lock is going to keep everybody out of your house. The lock on the front of your door keeps honest people out. That's it. If someone wants into your house, they're going to get into your house. If somebody wants into the safe that you have, they want, they're going to get in. They're not going to listen to the suggestion that you put at the start of the of the challenge because in their mind, it's a challenge. It's a it's a goal. It's a game. Honestly, though, he probably should have. I disagree that it should go right at the start. Barely anyone listens to the don't do this at home warnings. Yeah. You know how many people got hurt because of the jackass warning? To be fair, the way he said it was a little jokey. I think that's dis that's that's misrepresenting the entire point behind it. It's a comedic tone it's a comedic tone throughout the entire video h bomber guy is a very facetious sounding presenter i don't think anyone that's gonna go harass somebody is gonna not harass them based on the tone of of the disclaimer if you're gonna go harass somebody you're gonna go harass somebody i don't think you're gonna see a sign that says hey harass was not cool man and go yeah you know what it isn't cool and i'm cool because harassing somebody intrinsically is bringing chaos to the situation and listening to a disclaimer is the antithesis to that i feel you you want to start shit why would you obey a rule if your goal is to start shit so if anything the argument we could make is should we be criticizing anybody in a public open space i think the answer to that is yeah when there's a good reason to and I feel like this video was an example of like, yeah, there's a decent reason to because there's a lot of these content creators on YouTube that are just lazily grabbing shit, making hacky scripts, stealing quotes from interviews and Wikipedia articles and just complete paragraphs from sources and then posting them and going, hey, I wrote this. I did a lot of research for you guys. I think it's valid to criticize them. But someone's decision to exit early is completely independent of the criticism that was brought up by the person who vocalized the criticism. They didn't make that decision. People who make the conscious decision to harass someone after something minutely negative is brought to light are complete fucking psychopaths. Agreed. That's why I'm saying I don't think it matters where he puts this. I don't think it mattered if he put it at the start of every single section. If if I want to if I want to go get ice cream <laughs> this is a bad analogy already and i see eight signs that says you shouldn't get ice cream right now i'm gonna go no i want ice cream though that's the mentality i feel like that comes from somebody that wants to harass some someone or some someone 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 i don't think it would matter where he puts it nor how many times he repeats it and that's why it's annoying to see people on twitter right now going h bomber guy could have stopped this H-Bomber guy could have stopped. No. 
we can we can say all day that like if the video didn't come out you know this wouldn't be the path we're on con right now and yeah probably yeah probably but the video coming out did not make the decision 